Okay, my name is David Graff, and I'm a, an assistant scholar scientist at the Magnet Laboratory. For my uh, show and tell piece, I, I brought along a uh, box of samples, and the box uh, kind of shows how they're shipped to us. Uh, we have these uh, really large cardboard boxes that come in because people want to protect their samples when they ship them to us. So we'll end up with uh, you know, two or three cardboard boxes within boxes with, with styrofoam and packing material. And in the center of all these cardboard boxes and packing material, we end up with a, a little maybe one inch squared box with, uh, with samples inside. And once you open that one inch squared box, uh, you'll have even smaller samples, which are sometimes you know, the size of the head of a pin, you know, hundreds of microns maybe. It's like opening a present on Christmas morning. You, you see uh, new samples, and your first thought is, what am I going to see with these samples? Is it going to be easy to measure? Is it going to be really difficult? You know, the, the techniques that I'm good at, will, will that show uh, new science in these materials, or am I going to have to try something new I haven't tried before? In our case, the samples are usually uh, single crystals of material. That means it's, it's grown uh, very clean. It's completely uniform from one side of the sample to the other, where we're interested in understanding the properties of it better. Measuring the sample is the experiment. Using our techniques to, to look at the sample, and the first thing we do is, is cool down the sample to see what happens when you, you cool it down to some low temperature, usually just a little bit above absolute zero. And then uh, typically the next thing we would do here is ramp the magnetic field to see what happens when it's at low temperatures and the magnetic field uh, reaches whatever we can get to here, up to 45 Tesla. So that's really the experiment, is taking one of these tiny little crystals and either attaching wires to it or finding uh, some technique to sense how the sample is changing when it's made very cold or put into a strong field. It's kind of suspense, like, you know, when you're watching a, a, a good suspenseful movie and you kind of want to know what happens at the end, but actually the process of getting to the end is also interesting. There's going to be uh, hours of work in preparing the sample and the experiment to get to the p uh, point where the magnet actually gets, you know, turned on. And uh, there really is that, that initial uh, 5, 10, 20 minutes of ramping the field for the first time where you kind of see if, if the work pays off. It's exciting the first time you see something, then you think, well, what can I do with this next? Uh, can I squeeze it a little bit and put it under pressure? Will it, uh, will it change if I, if I rotate the sample uh, in its alignment with the magnetic field? Um, what happens if I make it a little bit warmer than the low temperature I'm measuring at? So uh, if, when that moment of suspense uh, you know, passes and I see, you know, yes, I've actually seen something, you know, what do I do next to it? How can I manipulate the sample to tell me more about its properties?